hate this fucking job. Here, do you know how much they're charging people to see this? And we're getting less than the minimum wage. We haven't even had a break yet. What? So nobody's got a problem with that, then? It's just me, is it? Jesus! My neck's killing me! It's yours! What? Are we being watched? Nah. I don't think so. It looks clear to me. Hello? Is there a God? Because I don't think there is. Do you understand what I'm saying? Or oh, you do? No, you don't. I'm wasting my time here. That's it. I've had enough. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. Do you realise you're late? Well, you couldn't find a parking space? Maybe you were shampooing your hair. You couldn't find a babysitter, aye? I understand. No. Actually. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing and go and have a break. The aeroplane's wait, eh? The train's wait. How do you expect to understand the end if you haven't even seen the beginning? TV, show's cancelled. I'm fed up with this. What's this, another Eddie Moody? Hey, I'm not in a mood. What's up? Will you put in all this effort for fucking nothing? Well, maybe we should make some changes. We don't need to make any changes. It's a good show. Yeah, it was. All right, Tom. How's the wife? Doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Looks like you're dancing. Clever. You want a couple of partners? Are you any good? Are we any good? Are you still going to be there if we do? Of course. Hurry. Don't mind me. <laughs> You're hogging at me. 
beautiful. If you want to make a pile, you got to learn how to smile. She says, come in Tuesday. I was like, ah, hey, right, I'll be in Wednesday. Fine, she says, so I goes in there, skint. It's dead quiet. And they start laughing at me as if I'm some sort of fucking idiot. I've been telling you for years, you are an idiot. Now look at me. Does it look as if I need any favours? Hey. Got a disabled man here. He needs a toilet. Sorry, pal. What was that saying there? Aye, I was there for about three months. Thought I could do that job. Could do that job well. 90 fucking quid. Where am I going to get 90 quid for this wee shitey box, eh? What? Do you think I can entertain myself? It's a canny. I'm a human being, not I mean I'm a man. See if I don't have a job. I'm fucking nothing. Just need some company. What? You think that's fucking funny? All right, big man, how you doing? How you doing good? Nice one. See me? I'm a man. But I'm telling you, I've never been this fucking desperate before. I'm writing all these letters. Who the fuck's the replies, eh? Dave. Impressed? Do you know what winks and shags like a tiger?
likes dance. Don't be embarrassed. Maybe you'd like a drink. It'll help you relax. Or maybe you'd like something else. Maybe you'd like all of me. Or maybe just my arms. Can you imagine these wrapped around you? Can't with the legs. The only good thing about those is they come in a pair. I know. Maybe it's the ass. I bet you're wondering, what's it like? Well, I'll tell you. It's small, but it's peachy. I saw you looking. So, would you like to dance? I'll be right back. Don't go away. I'll be looking for you. All right, Rowan. How you doing? You remember Viv for the other night? Hi. Beautiful, eh? <laughs> you know, one of the first things that attracted me to Vivian was this mass, a long blonde hair. It's not blonde anymore, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter at all. I saw her coming through the club, you know, this blonde bombshell. She was up to about here, the legs on it, eh? It took me about a week to get down there and I saw them, didn't I? I saw them. She had these fucking massive shoes, man, with this huge heel on it. Brilliant. <laughs> Hey, you've probably noticed she's got these extraordinarily large breasts. <laughs> it's so excited, man. I could just eat you up. <laughs> I'll do that thing where you run. On the spot. She usually goes a lot faster than that, and then she goes straight in it with these jumps beside to side and that. I mean, look at that. I've never seen it like that before in my life. All right, that's enough. Hey, tell them that joke about the donkey. Oh. There's this donkey, it's right? Fucking class, it's man. This donkey, right? It's a huge shalong down here, there, man. It's brilliant, eh? Hey, we'll tell him. <laughs> anyway, it's so huge, right? It's right down That's the thing about up. Vivian. That's the thing about you, isn't it? It's like perfect along. timing, man. It's like <laughs> razor sharp, sharp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, do that thing with the leg. The leg goes there, then comes to the side, and you go there, there, clap your hands like that, and jump to the side, side, then go, show me those fingers, show me those fingers, remember? No, Viv. You just went straight there with the leg, and it went there, then you went there, there with your hand, hand, and clapped your hands side to side, all podging, you went, show me those fingers, show me those fingers, man. It's fucking hilarious. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Show me those fingers, show me those fingers. Hey. Do you know what I mean? It's you, man. <laughs> Classic, man. It's the way you do it. Yeah, that's show me those fingers. Is it? Just say it, I'll say it. Well, the way you said it last time, I mean, say it when you say it.
Can I ask you a question? What happened to your legs? Were you born like that, or did you have them chopped off? Do you have an arsehole, or do you shit into a bag? How do you go to the toilet? Can you masturbate? Seriously, I want to know. What's this lump on your back? Do you blame God for being born? What are these? They're stumps. Do you have any friends? Have you ever been in a fight? Have you? If you hit me first, it's okay if I hit you back, isn't it? Because you're a man. Do you trust me? Because I don't trust you. Oh, 
Where'd it go? I didn't do it like that, Eddie. Was it like this? <laughs> Why do you drink so much? You try listening to you all day. Right. I'm off. What's wrong? You are. David, are you coming? Wait for me. You don't even know what I was thinking.
All right, Tom. How are you doing? Just having a few beers with the lads. Rowan. Rowan. Let's get out of here. Do you want to lift me? I think we should move to Mallorca. They'd never have seen anything like us out there. Plus, I've got a buddy who could get it started up in the club circuit. Yeah, we could do the ventriloquist act to start with. I could wear a poncho, you could wear a sombrero. Or maybe the other way about, you wear the poncho because you'd look right sexy in a poncho. <laughs> Imagine, though, sangre at sunset, no more central heating, no more fucking carpets in the toilets. I mean, who gets off on that anyway? The English. And I'm not lying for anyone anymore, either. Put the blame where it belongs. My dad used to say, someone's always paying for someone else's mistake. Which reminds me, I think we could do the whole act around the idea of values. Not financially, but metaphorically. What are you talking about? Everything. Nothing. It's the same thing, really. Actually, I think that's the name of a book I read by John Paul Sartre. What? Same thing, really? 
No, everything, nothing. Oh. Fancy an ice cream? 